We're going to bring into the conversation a veteran in government service and Republican politics, Dan Senor, uh, who was a foreign affairs advisor to the Romney effort last time around and uh, has come to know Paul Ryan very well. And Dan, uh, this tug of war between all things Janesville, Wisconsin, a uh, family man by all accounts, Packers fan, a guy who really just wanted to be chairman of uh, Ways and Means, I'm sure it has been torture for Paul Ryan, this decision. It's the last job he ever thought he'd be pursuing. I mean, he, he, he says he, ha you know, he has his dream job, Chairman of Ways and Means Committee. This is the job he's wanted since he first wound up in Congress 17 years ago. He gets to work on tax reform. He gets to work on entitlement reform. He gets to work on an Obamacare health care reform replacement. And suddenly he's thrust into this position where he's told by members of all ideological stripes in his conference that the House GOP conference is in jeopardy if the place is ungovernable, the Senate majority is uh, in jeopardy if, if Senate Republicans can't hang on to those blue state Democrat, uh, Republican incumbent senators running for re-election, and whether or not our Republican presidential nominee is going to be in trouble if the House looks completely ungovernable over the next 16, 17 months. So that is, including the last 10 days when he's in Janesville, he's been hearing from all three of those groups conveying that message, and I just think he feels the stakes are too high. Dan, we have some activity in the